All right. Um, welcome to Chuck Builds. I'm doing a quick video via the live function. I don't normally use this, um, but I've gotten some comments on a video that I have on my channel on how to install Home Assistant on a PC that the Bellina Etcher aspect of it's not working inside of Ubuntu. There's been some issues with it previously, and I kind of knew about that. I had some um, extra comments that you'd have to use inside this video on how to get it to write better inside of Ubuntu. It seems since then um, it no longer works and that those extra parameters are no longer available on the Bellina website. Um, so that's fine. We're going to show you today how to get around that. And the exact step that we're addressing here is on the screen now where we are in Ubuntu downloading and running Belina Etcher to install the Home Assistant operating system onto the PC. So I'm gonna be doing this a little bit in reverse. I've got a VM running for Ubuntu. I'm just not quite ready to nuke my other box. Uh, plan on remaking this video at some point soon. I didn't think it was only gonna last six months, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna tackle that in a later video but for now just to get people by i'm going to do this video we are currently in ubuntu and this is as if you had booted into ubuntu from the live usb so the steps in this other video you'll still need to follow up until this point of getting it set up on your computer and we are booted on the pc and then i have a usb drive attached um, this is kind of inverted. Usually you would boot off of a USB drive and write Home Assistant onto an SSD or a hard drive. Um, so kind of just be thinking about that, that you gotta be writing to the correct location. Um, what we're gonna do here is go to our Firefox web browser. And I'm sorry, this VM has no specs assigned to it. Um, quick video here. We'll go to the Home Assistant website and then we'll go to installation. We're gonna go down to the x86, um, x64 machines. And there's a written tutorial here. I'm gonna try and cover all this in a later video. Um, and we're gonna just come down to the download the image for downloading the Home Assistant image. Right away, it's gonna pop up on your screen and you can just double click it here. But if you don't know, you can go to your downloads folder and it'll be here. And we'll just double click the image and then the destination I'm gonna choose my heart, my, um, I'm sorry, let me say this correctly. I'm going to be choosing my USB drive, but you should be choosing the SSD or hard drive on your mini PC. I suspect for most of you, that'll be SDA right here, this top one. Um, but for this, for me right now, I'm running to SDB because it's just a, a flash drive. Um, so I'm gonna choose that as my location and then I'm gonna click start restoring and restore requires a password because we're going to be overriding everything on that disk. So make sure you remove anything from that disk before you do this. And then it will start writing this image file onto this flash drive. So oh, I've got a warning in my live stream while this goes. Just gonna let this run out while it um, writes to this disk. It'll be a minute. Um, at this stage though, you would let this finish. You would turn off your PC, remove your flash drive and then turn it back on and it should boot into Home Assistant. Um, just wanted to kind of make this video again real quick. I had a couple of comments lately asking how to do this without Belina Etcher inside of Ubuntu. If this didn't make sense, please let me know and I'll try to redo this. I just want to do this real quick on my way out the door, but there's a written guide on the Home Assistant website and they will walk you through the steps. Um, and yeah, shout out to Home Assistant Tips by Larry for letting me know my microphone was muted in my last attempt at this stream. Um, I've got an error from uh, YouTube saying my resolution is too high. So I'm curious what that means. Um, yeah, we'll let this run out. I'm kind of hanging out for a second. 
I don't usually go live. I just thought this would be a very quick way to get the solution out there to the right people. Um, yeah, I, I really appreciate all your support and people tuning in to watch this live. Thank you. I got a bunch of videos working on some new ones. I need to get kind of get back to my home assistant roots though. I've been doing other things off on the side. We had some comments lately about Ubuntu dependencies in Etcher and Ubuntu issues. Eh, not too many, a few. I've got a comment here on how to um, skip Ubuntu, I mean, skip Belina Etcher inside of Ubuntu, but um, hopefully this will solve that confusion. I was gonna let this go, but this is going a lot slower than I expected. Um, I don't think anybody wants to hang out for the next 20 minutes watching this, but this is how you write an image onto your drive via Ubuntu, and the image we're using today is Home Assistant. Um, let me know if you have any comments, questions, if I can help. If you do need help, I try to check my YouTube comments often, but the best way to get a hold of me would be to go to my website, chuck-builds.com, and then click the little Discord button here, and just uh, join me on Discord. Come say hey. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Uh, it's weird being live. I'm used to editing all this dead air out.